today I'm gonna be making a forge and guest starring in the store, the store on the show, Jackson. Jackson, any words, man? Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Yeah, that's what I thought. A furnace, right? For furnace, exactly. We're in Milton's Maloon. So the things you're gonna need, you're gonna need a bucket to put inside the bucket that will be full of the concrete. Inside the other bucket. And the bucket. then you want a bucket to mix your cement in. And another bucket to do measuring. So now, you get all your buckets. You also need a hair dryer and a pipe, and a drill bit to drill through the cement into that bucket. And you know, of course, your concrete and your cement, they aren't the same thing, don't let anyone tell you they are. Concrete's like sand, cement's the glue that holds it all together. And you're gonna need water. So, you get all those supplies and a drill. Let's get down to business. 4,000 milliliters of cement, 5,000 milliliters of concrete, and a thousand milliliters of water. Now add your water in slowly, and then mix it, and then test it. It should have the consistency of clay. And here's the ratio to concrete, to water ratio. For every 80 pounds of concrete, you should have about three quarts of water. You're gonna to wanna to take your concrete, which is just your sand aggregate, not your cement, and you wanna measure out the amount you want. About I would, I'm doing half cement, half concrete. So 50% of your end volume. I'm gonna take your aggregate, your cement, not your cement, cancel that, your concrete, and you wanna pour it into your bucket. And in case you didn't make enough dust, then realize you poured it into the wrong bucket and pour it into this bucket. Now I'm going to be adding the cement. This is always fun. water. We put it in slowly. I put in about half of this first and then I'll test it to see what it's like and then I'll add in the other half or I'll add it in pieces. You, know, you can use your hands to stir it but that's not fun if you have one of these handy dandy stirs which is just a screwdriver with a pipe attached to it. Never go wrong there. So, have at it. And now you're gonna just add it into your bucket. It's not a liquid, that's right. Put in more concrete, and now putting the bucket in place. I'll show you guys what it looks like so far. See, it's pretty deep. Kind of wish it could be a little deeper. Okay, okay. Jackson, your eyewitness. Okay. So, so, it actually, I settled on this solution concrete's right there, here's my blue bucket, and I put a wooden panel in between it and my this glove heavy bucket. Yeah, okay, Jackson, I, whatever. It's a heads up. But this is a way to hold that down in the concrete. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys when it's done. But yeah, should be a pretty good. Any words? No words. No words, rock on.
drill into the side. All right, now I'm removing the uh, bucket. So the way we're gonna get the bucket out of here is take your handy dandy screwdriver and just bend. Bend it in like this. See that? That is so pretty. All right. I finally got the bucket out. Uh, yeah, that wasn't easy. It's definitely seen better days. But yeah, this is garbage now. But look at this. Yeah, you're also gonna need a fire extinguisher. I just happened to have sanded this one down. That isn't that perfect. Chop it right there. Yeah, it's a beaut. All right, guys, I'll tune back in when I finish that hole. All right. <clears throat> so, um. You get your forge. This really only works if you have a thing to put the molten metal in, like a, I don't know, a steel fire extinguisher or something. But you just need to chop it off right here. So you can go at this with a hacksaw for three or four hours, have a good time, or you can get an angle grinder for a hundred bucks and have a better time. So yeah, you need a crucible is what I'm saying. So buy a crucible. You can get these in graphite, carbon, High melting point will never melt. You get them in steel, they last a little less longer, but they're a lot free, free basically, that's why. So, oh, good time grinding this up. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope this video helped you in some way and you enjoyed it. So like, comment, and subscribe. That does help my channel out. Thank you very much, guys.